Today we're seeing two apartments, both of which could not be more different. First up, we've got a $3,500 two floor luxury penthouse with all high end finishes and a private terrace. And we're putting it up against a five bedroom, three bathroom, two floor townhouse, which has pretty much everything and feels like a small home. Is this even a competition? Not really, but they both look cool and I can't wait to go see them. Here we are at 30th Avenue in Astoria. We got off this above ground platform and the apartment's pretty close. And by pretty close, I mean that the first place is about a 13 minute walk and the other one is also in this general area. Right next to the train, there's a Colombian bakery. Oh man, look at those sweet treats. And next to that, you can get a juice smoothie to go with your fancy new eyebrows. That combination probably works pretty well. Across the street, there's also a full grocery store. You'll live for a long time if this is where you buy all your food. But if you want to shorten your lifespan, everything at 7-Eleven will help you with that. Look at this lunch special right here. A green Red Bull and two pieces of pizza. How would you not feel like a million bucks after eating that? You see this little grill right here? This is one of my favorite spots in the whole neighborhood to go out to eat. It's a seafood place in case you're wondering. Across the street from that, there's a little bakery. And next to that, right here at this cafe, you can get sweet crepes and Texas barbecue. I think I may have to change favorite restaurants. This is not good. It seems the New World Order is trying to take over Astoria by putting fake bacon on their fake avocado toast. Is this gonna be coconut or just coconut flavored water? Do yourself a favor. If you want some coffee, go across the street to this little coffee shop right here. Now, if you're looking for a diner, this spot right here, it's not bad. I've eaten here a few times. That right there is the building. If you wanna rent any of the spots we're seeing today call this phone number and speak to jeremy they're his apartments can you believe he used to work for me i should have paid him more this is my fault isn't it Right, this is pretty cool. And it's only $3,500. And right here, there's a balcony. Not bad having this off the living room. You get a pretty sweet view. We're facing west right now. And if you look far enough, you can actually see certain buildings in Manhattan. And uh, we've got a lot to check out. If you have fun watching this, hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I make videos like this every single week. There's your front door. There's your kitchen. Right over here, we've got a full-size washer and dryer. And there's video intercom. You'll have an HD view of the nose hair on your Amazon delivery driver. From the balcony, to the kitchen. We've got 20 feet 7 inches by 11 feet 2 inches. I'd put the couch over here and then in this spot that's where I would put the entertainment center right across from it. This kitchen is an absolute masterpiece. You got a full size fridge an oven with a fifth burner? You won't see that in Manhattan. There's also a microwave, a dishwasher, and you know there is a sink sprayer. If there wasn't, I wouldn't be here. What will we find at the top of this staircase? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is like an entire second apartment. That's where we came out and look at all this space. The view is even better. And you don't even need to use the downstairs kitchen because over here, you've got this crazy grill with a sink. Okay, if you rent this place and you're sharing it with your significant other and you guys get in a fight, you can totally survive out here because that door leads to the fire escape. And back inside, you can have your own room. Upstairs here, we've got nine feet, seven inches by 12 feet, 10 inches. This would be an awesome bedroom. It would be an awesome home office. And I think all your friends are definitely gonna wanna hang out outside. Now there is a traditional bedroom right over here and this room is awesome over here we've got 10 feet 8 inches by 12 feet 4 inches nice quiet view again facing the back and I think you can fit any size bed you want in here plus there's this huge closet 
Is it a walk-in closet or a step-in closet? You let me know. Let's check out the bathroom. This is a pretty good size. Bathtub, looks like it's easy to get to. You've also got a nice big sink with lots of counter space. Plus this mirror turns into a medicine cabinet with a mirror on the inside. Is that overkill? Who cares? But what is overkill is the location of this second apartment. Right here's Dittmar's Boulevard. There are tons of restaurants right here. Burgerology. It must be a hamburger made by a scientist. Over here, you've got a wine store. Next to that, you got local Mexican. Over here, there's a little cocktail bar. And on the exact same block as the building is this place, which has the most addicting cookies I've ever had. Once you start checking the menu on your phone, you know you've got a problem. I can't believe the size of this place. And it has a downstairs. This is like having your own house. And right after you walk in, this is the living room. And it's huge, 23 feet by 13 feet. By the balcony, I'd put the entertainment center and then a couch. And since that's the kitchen, a big table right here, that looks like the right decision. How is the balcony? Okay. Pretty sweet, we've got a balcony with a little view here. Some chairs and a table, no problem. And luckily the street's not too loud at all. And your neighbors have tulips. Will the people at Burgerology verify if those are tulips for us? This kitchen looks really nice. And look at the fridge, wow, this is expensive for sure. You've got a massive oven and microwave. Of course there's a dishwasher and a sink sprayer. Plus you got these cool LED lights to shine down upon the obnoxious gifts like bread makers that you're gonna get from people who wanna see you enjoy this place. Across from the kitchen, we've got one of the bathrooms. Looks good, this is a nice full-size bath. Tub's easy to get in and out of. This guy turns into a medicine cabinet, love it. Here's something the other apartment didn't have. It looks like this heats the floor. Heated floors, that's how you know you've made it. Next to the living room, we've got one of the bedrooms. It's 10 feet by nine feet, 10 inches. You can definitely fit stuff in here, provided you put the bed over here, that way it doesn't get in the way the closet or the door. Closet itself is huge and it's got these awesome mirrors, which will show you exactly how dumb you look holding a camera. Now, just before we head downstairs, we've got two more bedrooms. This one measures nine feet, nine inches by nine feet, four inches. And the view here faces the back of the building, not the street. So if you want the quietest room possible, these two in the back are gonna be it. Now this third room measures 10 feet, four inches by eight feet, 11 inches. The closet's flush with the wall. I'd probably put the bed here. And what I'm realizing now is each bedroom has its own climate control. That's great. If you have a roommate that likes it really hot and you don't like that, you don't have to suffer with their poor life choices. If you're in one of these two rooms, this gets to be your bathroom. This is exactly like the first room we checked out, except for the standing shower. But everything else in here looks pretty much the same. This is a nice solid staircase. And look, down here underneath the stairs, if you've got a cheap friend, they could just put a sleeping bag in the corner here and you can charge them a couple hundred bucks a month. There's also a laundry room down here. This is so nice. I wish every apartment had this. Where does this door go? Okay, it leads out to the driveway. This is like a second entrance. And over here, we've got two more bedrooms and a bathroom. Okay, this bath, it's got a standing shower as well. But I like how there's nothing to climb over. You just walk in. This first bedroom measures 10 feet, five inches by nine feet, seven inches. Love the closet. Again, I'd put the bed over here. The view that we've got is facing the little backyard. Okay, here's the final room. It's 10 feet by 10 feet as well. You know the drill, big closet, same view. And if you want to rent either of these two awesome places, check out the video description for Jeremy's contact info and then pick another video and I'll see you in the next one.